in this episode of tech video i will be showing you some of the best five free productivity application to make your workflow efficient and faster so let's get to the video with no particular order starting out with number one is the zaha notebook now we have a lot of notebooks application out there in the industry we got her the evernote we got her notion these are all pretty amazing but the zaha notebook is one of the most beautiful application I have ever used when it's come to not creating. Now, first of all, if you would like to download this, the link will be in the description. But for a Windows user, you can install it right away here from the official website. But if you are using Mac, you can also install it. Now, the good thing about this, of course, is that it is synchronized with your mobiles. If you are using here Android or iOS, you can just simply install it. Now, when you download it here, I have already launched the application. What you want to do here is simply launch this and simply sign on with Google. Once you launch it, as you can see here, all of my notes is synchronized back here. Now, you can set a custom password to any of the notebook, by the way. What you can do here, if you go to setting and then scroll all the way here, go to the change passcode and then you can set up here a new passcode here. Now, of course, at first when you launch it, you have to set it manually, like the password, you would have to create a new password. Now, the good thing about it, if I click here in my notes and then try to type here a password here, as you can see here, the notes would simply appear. Now, the same password would be synchronized with your mobile device as well, or you can even access it on your web browser as well. Now, if you would like to create your own notebook, what you can do here is click on the plus symbol and then create a new notebook. It would create a new notebook, which you can then, of course, call it whatever you want. Let's let's call this creative. Now, what you can do here is you hover over this three dot menu and click on the info icon. You can see here it's going to tell you that even it was created and how many notes is there. Now, you can change the cover of this if you would like to by simply click on the choose cover. And then you can choose that from the default setting. Or you can do here is to upload your own one by go to by you and as you can see here if I click on the uploads I can upload my own one from the setting menu uh, let's just uh, try to click on this and then we can zoom out all the way here and then simply click on upload and as you can see here it is created this notebook now, if you would like to create within this notebook, what you're going to do is simply click on this and then click on plus and then click right here. And of course, you can then start typing here, whatever you like. Pretty amazing and outstanding. I use it for my journaling, for my diary writing and for writing my gratitude. So let's move on to the second application. And the second spot, we have Yuli. It is one of the beautiful software for Windows Spotlight search like a macOS. When you install this, what you want to do here is go to the official website. The link will be in the description. And then what you want to do here is click on the download. Now, if you are using here the Windows, you can of course click on the installer. But if you are using macOS, you can install it as a third party application as well. Now, since I have already installed it, as you can see here, it's appearing in my tray icon. I can click on this, right click on this and go to the setting. Now, when you install this by default, the hard key or the sh keyboard shortcut key would be set to Alt plus space and the keyboard. Now, let me show you how this really works. If I press here Alt plus space, as you can see here, it's giving me the search bar to search for anything in the computer. Now, if I go to my desktop, of course, I can again press Alt plus space and search for anything I would like to, like, for example, Photoshop. Now, you can of course then choose her anything you would like to but then simply pressing enter it's gonna launch the application now the another thing about this is that if you go here and right click on this and click on setting here what you can do here is customize the whole user experience of this uh, window spotlight now what i would suggest sir if you go to the a uh, web search setting which is this setting you can if it is disabled by default you can simply click on this it's gonna enable this now as you can see it's telling me that while searching in google you had to prefix the query with g and question mark and the key and then if you're searching here for duck duck or you had to 
kind of use this if you are searching on YouTube then you have to use this now of course you can customize this for if you'd like to click on the application search bar from the software search for like application you can then add your own custom folder as well for searching the application the other thing about it is that you can of course apply her dictionary and things like that that's coming directly straight from the dictionary now if i press her all plus space and i want to search her anything on the google what i would do her is type her small g and then question mark space and i can type her the query on the web result as you can see i can choose from any of those key and when i press enter it's going to search this on the internet which is pretty amazing of course you can go and play around here with the setting if you go to setting you can then play around and adjust it for your needs it's pretty amazing coming up number three we got her wps now you might be really familiar with this application it's really popular among the users now it's kind of a best alternative to microsoft word and excel and the powerpoint but it comes here with a lot of free features that you can use it so what do you want to do her once you download this you just simply click on this and then download it her since i have already downloaded it i will just simply want to show you right away simply like the application as you can see here it has all of the setting now if you go to the file setting and then go into the tool setting you have a lot of things you can play around with this and you have docs where you can then create your own blank page create from templates now if you go ahead to the create templates you have a lot of templates that kind of most of them are free you can use them as a starting point for example if you would like to create here this consulting resume what you want to do is simply click on the download it's going to start the download in the background and then once it's downloaded you can then edit it for your own needs like it's pretty amazing and fantastic the other thing you can do here is that if you go and click on the plus tab the best thing is that you can run simultaneous uh, different applications within one windows like you got here the WPS slides, WPS sheets which is kind of um, slides is alternative to powerpoint and sheet is alternative to excel like really fantastic now in the marketing point uh, in the my template section you can search her see more templates for example i want to search her templates and what i would do her is go to the marketplace of it and then i can search her for anything that i would like to use it for example um let's let's go to the presentation section and let, let's start with this one as a starting point and then of course i can then use this as a starting point to manipulate it for my own needs Coming up, number four, we got her TickTick. Now, it's not the most popular application out there, but I have been using it for almost three, four years for my to-do list. It's really amazing for productivity. Now, you can, of course, download it here by going into the official website, and it's absolutely free. Most of the feature for average user would be free. It is also synchronized with mobile as well. So let me show you how to use this. Since I have already downloaded it, I will just simply open it. Now what you want to do here, click on sign in with Google simply. Now once you sign in with the account, you can choose her anything you would like, like habit tracker or anything that you like. If I want to kind of keep track of my habit or maybe things like this, simply click on continue. And uh, for study, work and uh, get started. And as you can see here it created gives me by default some of the to-do list which i can of course delete it by right clicking on it and simply deleting it now if you would like to create a task here by the way what you want to do here is simply click on this task and then and then you can just simply type her any task that you would like to now this is the parent task when you create this you can click on this and create a within the sub task for your needs like of course um you know just to keep track of everything now if you would like to kind of schedule this what you want to do here is simply right click her and then click on hover over this as you can see her tomorrow next week and monthly you can of course then just use her for your own needs like it's really fantastic now if you go to the habit tracker section you can add your own habits by the way totally depend on you and then just simply use this 
Now, if you would like to synchronize all of your habit to do list and habit tracking with your phone, just simply log in with the same account that you use during the sign up processes. Coming up on the last part, we have the Sumatra PDF. Now, might have probably mentioned it on this YouTube channel, but it's one of the beautiful PDF reader out there and it's really fast and lightweight. Now, it doesn't only support PDF, by the way, it supports her ebook file and different kind of extension. It's really straightforward and really fast. Now, if you would like to download it, you would go into the download section and then download it for your needs. Now, since I have already downloaded, I would just simply launch it. As you can see here, it's uh, showing me the recent PDF file that I opened. So what you want to do here is simply click on open document and then you can choose her any of the document that you would like to open. You can then go back to the home page. As you can see here, I have opened this book. You can simply open up another book and it's just simply opening this PDF file in tabs really smoothly and beautifully. You can add her annotation and thing like that. It's really fast and uh, it is absolutely free. Anyway, so I guess that will be it for, for this week video. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you like my overall contest, I make every single week videos related to design, technology and things like that. I would appreciate if you hit that subscribe button with bell notification. Anyway, that will be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.